Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about something I'm really excited about and that's the Follow My Health patient portal. So far, our patients have been really excited about this uh, new feature that our office is offering. Patients are able to have 24-7 um, access to all of the test results such as their pap smear, blood work, mammogram. They can also see things that are done outside of our office that we receive from scan documents, such as their DEXA or bone mineral density testing, surgical op reports, uh, surgical path reports. Uh, patients are able to request um, what times are good for their appointments and even send brief messages to any of our providers. So I'm gonna turn it over to Emma, who is the computer and billing expert in our office. And she's just gonna do a walkthrough of the Follow My Health um, patient portal. So you'll quickly to be able to see how easy it is to um, navigate this platform. Okay, so I'll turn it over to Emma right now. All righty. So there, once you log into our app, you will get an invitation via email. Um, one of our staff members will send that to your preferred email, or um, you can call the office and um, we will send you one. You can also click on our website here. Um, for those of you who are not familiar, our website's dramybrenner.com, and it's on our home screen right here if you want to click on this it'll bring you right to this. If you have a portal login already, um, you can click here to sign in. If you need to sign up, you would click here. We are going to sign in to a patient portal. You can use a customized ID or you can log in with your Facebook, Google, Yahoo account so that there's less passwords for you to remember. So when you sign up, the first thing you want to do is you want to go over here to my account and you want to go to preferences. This is where you're going to set up how you want to be notified and what you want to be notified about in your account. So you can select whether you want to email or text message for your appointment reminders, your appointment updates, any changes we make to your account, um, when we've notified you when you've sent messages and the providers responding back, and even bulletins about the office such as emergency closings for weather, uh, those kinds of things when we have special events going on in the office. And you can, of course, get an email or a text message or both or neither. And you would do that in this location. That is the most important and the first thing you want to do when you are creating your account. As far as what you can do in Follow My Health, there are four different tabs. The home screen is going to be where you're logged into. This is going to have a summary of everything here as far as your insurance, your pharmacy, um, your last blood pressure, your last weight in the office. Your accent center is things that you need to do or things that need attention in Follow My Health. Um, for example, this person has an unpaid bill. It'll have things like upcoming appointments or um, changes in your health can all be done here. This is where you can request an appointment. It's fairly easy. You just hit the request button. You're going to, of course, pick the organization. The provider that you want to see, this selection is only going to be providers that you have seen in the past. So um, you may not see every provider in our practice here. Just select one. If you're wanting to schedule with someone you haven't been seen before, just put that in the instructions or comments for the staff to see that. 
And then this is when you would like to come in. Your What works for you? So if you just want the first available, we'll leave it at first available. If you need morning or afternoons, you can change your preferences here. If there are certain days, you can select days that you want. One day, multiple days. And if you wanted to see Dr. Brenner as opposed to Jennifer, our nurse practitioner, you can type in here. And this is where you would put your reason for visit. And then you'll hit the submit button and that will send a message to our staff. They will respond to you via Follow My Health to let you know what time we have scheduled you the appointment for. You can also pay a bill. So this person has a $1.68 due. So you just click here. It will show you the date it's for, what you were seeing, the, the procedure that was done, and how much you owe. You can select, if you have multiple dates, you can hit all. If you have one, you can select it, or if you only want to pay select ones at a time, you can do that as well for HSA purposes. And you would hit the pay now button, and it will allow you to submit your credit card information to, and it goes directly into our system. The number is secure. This is a complete secure way to make that payment. This recent activity is everything that's been done in your account so that you can see any changes. You can see appointments that were canceled or rescheduled. You can see uh, documents. Dr. Brenner was talking about different documents, labs. This is where you would see those. You would also see them in your My Health, which we will get to that tab. That is the home screen. If you also have the app, you can add different apps to your Follow My Health account for tracking weight, your blood sugars, um, Fitbit, those kinds of things you will do right here. The next tab is the inbox. This is essentially like an email inbox and it will have messages, of course, back and forth between you and different staff members at the office and it works the same way a typical email box would, and I think almost all of us know how to do that at this point. The next tab is the My Health. This is going to be where all your health is listed as far as your chart with the office. It's going to have what we have that was done, your current diagnoses, and this is the summary page. This is broken down what Different items here are broken down here. You can edit these on here, but that does not cross over into your chart. We will get a message that you've deleted things, but that does not change your chart in any way. It just notifies us that you are changing these items. These are, of course, the medication tab is that self-explanatory medications that you're using. You can again delete this, but it is not going to tell the change your chart. It will just notify the office that you have made that change. If you need to add a medication that you are on, you can add that. Again, it does not go into your chart, but it will notify us that you have changed that. This is where you're going to add any allergies that you have had, immunizations that you have had. This will be where your test results are and what they look like. This will be your vitals, height, weight, blood pressure that we've taken in the office. Documents are things like outside testing that is done at the hospital or a um, MNG center that will come into this area. And the chart is again, basically all of these things together in one place. And that is the My Health tab. 
The My Info tab is basically your demographics. You can change this. Again, it does not change your chart. It just notifies the office that you have made changes to this area so that we can change it. Some quick links that are helpful that are used most often are up here above the four tabs. So if you want to send a message to our office, you click send message and you put who you want the message to go to. And it's it's very similar to sending an email message. It comes into our system and we can see it. Um, keep in mind that those aren't looked at constantly, but we will usually get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. This is the same place for scheduling appointments as here. It's just a quick link. And this is bringing you back to this page and again, my account is where you can put in your preferences, where you can get help. And also, if you have multiple offices that you are connected through to follow my health, my connections is where you will see it. And that is a basic overview of follow my health. Call the office today or go to our website to sign up. If you have any questions, please give our office a call and we would be happy to answer them for you.